All right, the new EG4 6000 XP off-grid inverter. They sent this to me to do a review and some testing. And the first thing I notice is it's a lot bigger than my grow watts. I mean, this thing is huge. I'm not sure how much some grow watts weigh, maybe like 30 pounds or something. This thing's 70 pounds. It's probably at least twice the size. So it's definitely a beast. Uh, the box was uh, very nicely packaged. My box, of course, did have a little bit of damage from UPS, but that's almost everything now. But the inverter is perfect, perfectly fine. I haven't seen a scratch on it. So it looks like it's gonna be good to go. So as you can see during the unboxing, basically it come with the manual, you know, bam, right on the top. Came with some communication cables. Came with some hardware to mount the thing. And it came with a Wi-Fi dongle. Bam, right there. So you'd be able to uh, monitor this EG4 inverter. That's one of the things I'm excited about with this. Right now I'm using solar assist with the grow watts just so I have some kind of communications and be able to see what's going on. But you know, with the new EG4, you know, the newest in their lineup, the thing's gonna have all the communication that you need. You can make changes from an app, you know, or, or just off a of Wi-Fi on your computer or laptop, tablet, whatever the case may be. So I'm definitely excited about that. I'm be doing a lot of testing with this thing, but I just basically want to show you in this first video, look at the size of this bad boy and, and just look at all the uh, things that come with it. it. Comes with all your breakers for your load, your grid, your generator, has your battery breaker already built in, you know, as your PV disconnect here on the side, it has your own on and off buttons uh, for the inverter, the power button, and the power button for the load. And also right on the bottom of the inverter, it has built in knockouts. I'm not gonna have to sit there and drill knockouts in the bottom of this thing like I did with my grow watts. The ones that came in the grow watts were not quite big enough for what I was trying to use, so I, I had to drill some of them out. And of course, that's gonna void your warranty. You don't wanna do that, so bam. The, this EG4 by Lux Power, it already comes with the knockouts pre-built in and you just pop them out like you do any kind of electrical box. So let's go ahead and just talk about some of the specs. So this thing does have 8,000 watts of PV uh, input, but it, it's on two different strings. So 4,000 watts a piece. So depending on how your array is, you might have to split your array up to put it into this inverter, but this will take more than my grow watt, which is about 6,000 watts. So, you know, that's already 2,000 watts above. And then your load output is gonna be 6,000 watts. And this thing is split phase built in. So you don't have to get two of them to get split phase. You got 120 and 240, bam, built into the unit already. You don't have to do anything. With my grow watts, you need an auto transformer. You know, you have to worry about that thing messing up. With this, you're not gonna have to worry about that. And your volts open circuit for your solar is 480 volts. So, you know, you may be able to have some large strings, you know, higher voltage, less amps, the wire size doesn't have to be as big when the amps are lower. You know, that's why you wanna go higher voltage. You don't need a combiner box and all that. Bam, just straight into the inverter. You already got built-in breakers. You're gonna be good to go. And the price, one of the things people definitely wanna know is this thing is $1,399, which in my opinion is a deal for everything you're gonna get with this thing. The only thing you're not gonna get with this that you're gonna get with some of the uh, more expensive things is being able to sell back to the grid. So if you're just doing off-grid, you're not selling back to the grid, if you want, you can have grid input into this, have generator input into this, and you're trying to make power to be more self-reliant or to try to knock your electricity bill down, whatever your reasoning is. You know, to me, I want to be more self-sufficient. And of course, knocking an electric bill down, hey, that, I mean, who, who's not going to want that? But, you know, you're going to spend more money up front, you know, to get this. But if the grid goes down, power outage, storms, bam, you're still gonna have some power for you and your family. So the max charging on this thing is gonna be 125 amps. So, you know, just have to see if that's gonna be good enough for you for the charging. You can parallel up to 16 of these units. I don't know who's gonna put 16 of these units in parallel, but I'm probably gonna do three. I'm getting ready to order two more. You know, this one was sent to me by Signature Solar to do a review. No, so I'm gonna do a review, but I'm also gonna buy some more. Why? Because I wanna upgrade these grow watts. So if I get three of these, I have 3,000 more watts of output power, plus I have more input with the solar. So what, eight, 16, 24,000, instead of what was it on this one? I had 18,000 on the grow watts, 24,000 on these, depending on how you set up your arrays. If you have 4,000 going into each string exactly, you know, you're gonna be able to max the thing out and you're gonna be probably gonna have all the power you need if you have a 24K array most of the time. 
And these things are supposed to have pretty low idle consumption. And we're, of course, we're gonna test all that when we get into the testing. I'm gonna hook this thing up to my car. That's probably gonna be the first test that I do. Hook it up to a ray, hook it up to a battery, hook it up to my car and try to charge my car during the day just to see if you can do that constant load and kind of see how loud this thing is gonna be. You know, cause my grow watts are pretty loud. You know, in the background right now, I'm having to try to silence that in, with my audio in post when I'm doing my video editing. So that's why some of my audio, you know, has some clicks and stuff sometimes when I'm going from shot to shot. And it's because these loud inverters in the background. I want some inverters that are quieter and hopefully this is gonna fit the bill and I think it will. Hey, so what do you guys think so far about this? Just all the specs, everything that this thing comes with, you know, without using it first, you know, it's coming with all your hardware, your cables, you know, your Wi-Fi, your, your monitoring system. You know, the EG4 monitoring, that's gonna be great to have. Gonna be a lot easier to deal with because it's built into the inverter. Hey, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is this an option that you're looking at after you see people do some testing? Hey, if you're interested in testing, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm definitely gonna have a lot of videos coming out uh, showcasing this inverter, doing a lot of testing. Gonna try to see if we can overload this thing see if it auto restarts on its own, see all the different settings that you're able to, to change from your Wi-Fi from your app. You know, if you're away from your house, you need to restart something, you should be able to do it right from the app. That's gonna be a great thing to have. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.